Hey everyone, welcome to this student success interview. I'm Garth Laidlaw with Port Prep and I help art students complete their portfolios to get into their top art schools across the globe. Port Prep can help you create the absolute best art portfolio that you can possibly make and have the best chance of getting into your favorite art schools. We have courses on figure drawing, character design, perspective, animation, storyboarding. We even have courses that deal specifically with Sheridan College's animation portfolio, which is notoriously difficult to get into and which is what I graduated from. One of the primary problems that we've noticed with students not getting into their top art colleges is the accountability to produce work in a, on a consistent basis. And this is exactly what we've created these courses for. When you sign up for one of Port Prep's courses, we draw directly on top of our students' work to make corrections and also record all of our online meetups and video lectures to send to the students so that you can have it forever. Port Prep is incredibly proud of our success rate with getting students into their top art colleges and universities. And so please have a look at our testimonials page. We also offer one-on-one -on -one art mentorships as well that are much more customized to your specific artistic goals. Without further ado, let's listen to this student interview. Hey Alice, how's it going? Good. Yeah? Hello. <laughs> so, how have things been? I guess it's been almost a month, a little while since you found out that you got in. Yeah. How yes. has it felt since then? Um, actually, I think I'm too relaxed because now in school, I'm like kind of letting loose because like, I don't need good <laughs> grades, I don't need anything. Yeah, and it's so you don't really have to get a very good yeah. actual average to be able to get. You only need a 65, I think, if it hasn't yeah, changed, it's... and a university English and then some kind of art credit in high school. but um not too hard so yeah it's not um hard. i imagine that's a big load off your shoulders to have found out how, how did yeah. uh like how, what was your situation like when you first found out you got in um, i was actually at my neighbor's house because she was out on vacation and i needed to take care of her cat oh. i was like literally about to scoop the litter box and then <laughs> i i'm looking at the sheridan server and they're like it's out and then Okay, I'm like rushing to, but I just checked OCAS first and it yeah. said offer of admission. And I was like, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah. That's so great. Well, actually, my friends were like, they were all there to on the Discord call. So, that's oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's fun. I always like when you find out and there's people around you, whether yeah. online or, or in person. So, that's that's awesome. Uh, well deserved, not surprised, but nice yeah. to have it reaffirmed from Sheridan. So, yes. really, really great. Um, so let's have a, let's have a look through your portfolio. I'm going to share my screen. Um, let's see. So I guess this is probably your score sheet. No, this uh, is not your score sheet. I just added it. Just oh, okay, I'm yeah. going to go grab it. Uh, oh, there it is. Great. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, honestly, like, as far as I've seen, I'm actually surprised you only got a 91. <laughs> but, uh, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see, where did you... One on figure drawing. Yeah. Hey, your hand. Didn't you get perfect on your hand last year? Uh, I did not apply last year. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Uh, for some reason, I thought uh, you did. Okay, so two on your character rotation, yeah. storyboard, a few marks, which is really surprising, I must say. Um, perspective line drawing is also very surprising. I don't know. Yeah. Are, how did you I feel? I think I that? know the reason to the perspective one. Uh, okay. It was like, it was at like 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm still working on the exterior one. Okay. And I think, I mean, right. I'm dying at that point. We'll, we'll have a look soon. Yeah. Um, so let's do it in order. So let's first see uh, your figure drawing. Oops. Oh, yeah. yes. I remember this one. And you got perfect? Or uh, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Okay. Yeah, these are really good. Really good gestures. A nice sense of looseness, but solidity in them as well. The structure and the weight feels very convincing, especially in this one. Yeah. Really nice. I remember sending like so many 
figures. Yes, of course. Let's, <laughs> the huge file. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. Let's uh, let's actually have a look at that because that was so. Uh... Oh no, I've moved it. I moved it to a different hard drive. We can't oh, look at it. That's but okay. Yeah, just for everyone uh, watching, Alice sent me like, what was it? Like probably 60, 60 to 70 um, yeah. life drawings. And I was determined to get them all into one file. And I did, but wow, was that one busy file. I think when I finally exited it, the program was like ready to crash. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are excellent life drawings. Thank yeah, you. I do remember them. I think all of them were ones that we looked at. Yes. As far as I remember. Wow. Really great. Thank you. Surprised it wasn't a perfect score, actually, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, yeah. Perfect hand score, though. Yay. Really great. Yeah. It almost feels animated, those two yeah. poses. I think I the hand drawings, and I think, was the easiest part for me. I, yeah. Like, because I drew a lot of hands even before I was thinking of applying to Sheridan. So okay. That was Great. helpful. Yeah. Nice sense of like the, the construction lines being, yeah. they're just there minimally, but they're still there. And yeah. then the nice like texture of the, of the skin, we really feel the volume of it with these little bits that are kind of bunched up or like pressed together. Really yeah. nice. Thank you. Okay, character design. So two marks oh, off this one. This mm -hmm. one, yeah. I think it was too simple, probably. Yeah. Could be. I mean, there is a certain element. I always help with like anatomy and, and, and views and the, the consistency and stuff, but yeah. there is a certain element where, you know, it's to each their own, really, like to to, to each teacher's perspective of, of, of like the design. And design mm -hmm. is a hard thing to kind of like, you know, know exactly what they want to see, basically. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, no, I think it, it really works in the rotation that's for sure really nice um and then short animation let's have a look at that uh yeah this um, I, got, I think full marks on short animation yeah yeah i love this i love how you really use the whole screen here it's yeah. like you're actually almost using the entire screen you, you almost get to the top but uh yeah I remember seeing this many times. You were very yes. I really like this about our feedback sessions. Actually, you you return things to me very frequently just to yeah. make sure, like absolutely, that it was good to go, or if there's anything else. And I remember there were there were a few things, like, but but then I was pretty much like, okay, this is good to go. Like you don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Um, how did you do on that one again? Uh, yeah. Great. Wow. Not surprised. Really glad they saw the. Mm -hmm. How good it was. How did you feel about that one? I yeah, I think at first I was kind of hesitant, but I felt like I read the criteria kind of, and it was like believable motion, and I was like, okay, I think I got that part down. Yeah, sure. Oh, storyboard. Storyboard. I mean, this was another one I remember us like chatting yes. about until the literal end of the well, the, well, the, the, the time that you need to hand in. Yeah. Snout of the possum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you glad to never draw them again? Yes, I'm so glad. <laughs> Actually, I was pretty happy with the 17 out of 20 for this one. Yeah. Because, yeah, I thought if it was going to be like a downfall, my portfolio was going to be the storyboard. Okay, but, so this is one you were least confident in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Interesting. I mean, it's, it's a lot of new stuff, right? Like, you haven't yeah. actually made a film yet, so... the. It, it is a lot to pick up and sometimes you need to learn editing and different shots and stuff by actually doing it and so it's yeah. for many people it's it's a brand new thing um but uh well yeah that's that's a great mark still i mean it's funny because that's like in any other situation that's like a fantastic mark but it's yeah. just because of the board pull when you can have so few marks off that 17 out of 20 is like ooh, your, your yeah. marks are interesting actually in that way because most of them are piled on these few things and then the rest are like well no i guess yeah it's, it's just, just the hand drawing is perfect huh? and the and, animation okay. yeah so mm -hmm. it's just like one or two marks on a few of the other ones yeah yeah one okay. mark and i would have been on the wait list <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> don't even think about it <laughs> yeah i have a nightmare so much oh, i love this one this is so great wow such a creative space 
Yes. And a fun layout, really. I think wow. this is where I probably got Mark saw. Um, I feel like... For what? Um, I, this is like super minor detail, but in the middle part, in the trees up there, yep. I... Yeah, well, that's a mistake. It didn't... <laughs> I mean, Not a huge like, deal, though. I mean, it's just a little layering think, issue, but like the way it goes into the stream, it it looks a little strange there. Like mm. the way it goes up, yeah. Like, okay. I I can see where they took off marks. I think. Yeah. But, like that part is a little strange. Well, I don't know. Like, I I said this to you when we were having sessions, but. Your, your detailing and your like attention to detail in certain areas and then leaving space in other areas and then some intense, beautiful detail. I just feel like your rendering of, of forms and detail is is fantastic. And Thank you, sir. Like things are a little rougher in the background, but also it's in the background. Yeah. And um, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of disagree with them, to be honest. I think these are great. Oh. <laughs> um, there's a few small little things here, but it's not yeah. like enough to take off two marks. like. These are, this is at minimum 14 out of 15, maybe 15 out of 15 for me, so. But what can you do? I yeah. I want to live here. I, I decided I'm going to buy some real estate in this drawing that you've made, because that looks like a charming little spot. I also think maybe the character's not clear enough in this one, because there's a little rat there. Oh, sure, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of see it. But... There's little things I can see, like the scale of the building of this one, in that yeah. one. So, something's going on like the shoreline it just suddenly is water but i feel yeah. like it needs to be a bit more of a transition or something whereas i feel like you have that elsewhere but mm -hmm. but overall your detail is just great i love how you've drawn trees and mushrooms and leaves and everything feels very distinct so Thank i don't know you. that's 15 out of 15 for me this group sheridan <laughs> but uh what can you do <laughs> okay let's see your personal work yes so yeah, this is how I formatted it. I wanted this to be like a self-portrait kind of page. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Of, of different kinds. Look at that. Yeah. You as a, as a toy. That's fun. What did you get in your personal work again? Uh, 14. 14. One mark. Okay. One mark. Uh oh, some lighting study. Nice. That's a nice idea to do. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. These guys were so fun. The different... <laughs> I was painting the backdrop at like 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> the day before you were handing in your portfolio? The, the morning of. <laughs> okay. Wow. That is incredible. Um, yeah. I couldn't find the unwrinkled version of this. Actually. Oh, yeah. I remember we Just, talked about that. Whatever. Happened. What can you do? It's yeah. still really nice. Great. Yeah, this was originally going to be your layout and then you... Yeah. And um, I'm glad I redid it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's well, nice that it still made it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this one. Nice. I still... I. It's funny. I, I mentioned this to you before, but this isn't just true for you as well, Alice. But I do find that sometimes, like, in animation backgrounds, there's, some, there's a certain, like, life of a sketch that is yeah. hard to... It's just hard to carry through to the final. I don't know. And the final is beautiful yeah. in its own way. It has the lighting, has the color and everything. But, oh, I don't know. I, I love a good sketch. There's just yeah. something about it. But uh, all of these are great. And it's really nice to see the process as it comes yeah. to the end. Nice. And then yeah. I had sketchbook oh. stuff, I think. That's oh, me. yes. Here it is. Yeah, it's a PDF. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they limited it to one page of, like, figures because they didn't want to see more I think so I just okay. kind of give my gestures in there nice that's good ooh environments that's great and just like objects on table objects used to be a part of the portfolio you'd have to draw a cone and a <laughs> cylinder and box and things and tell a bit of a story um, so it's nice that you still yeah draw some things wow look at this holy I remember seeing this way back yes in, the boat uh, that's super fun it has a playful sense to it too, the looseness of the line. It's got yeah. that like urban sketching line. Oh yeah. Mm. Wait, this is much wider, I think. Yeah. Yes. It's awesome. Too really has a good sense of animation here, like Yeah. That's that's really fun. Nice. Yeah. 
Mm. Grace. So a mixture of things that are clearly from your sketchbook and that maybe yeah. are, well, I guess this looks like it's in your sketchbook. Yeah, yeah that no, one, I guess. most of these are. I guess just the figure drawing is kind of separate, but um, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This is such a fun scene. Thank you. Great. Oh yeah, this one. This made it really fun. Wow. Well, great work, Alice. Um, Thank you. That's that's fantastic. So, um, let's see. So the, the questions I have for you are: um, your top three tips for future applicants. Any ideas? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think a lot of people say time management, and mm. that's important. But I'm not gonna say that. So yeah. I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think a tip that helped me the most is like copying other artists, but not okay. in the way that you're plagiarizing and stealing their ideas, but sure. in the way, because I went to Algonquin for figure drawing like every week mm -hmm. and I would see there's prof sometimes professors come in and sometimes like uh, third year students come in and I would just observe how they're drawn it and just copy yeah. the things that work for them kind of thing. Right like in all aspects in other obviously not just figure drawings but in every category i think copying people who are better than you is like yeah. a great tip i i totally agree and i i recommend that all the time <laughs> yeah. i'm glad you're echoing that oh yeah and i went on the resources page that you gave me and i think um the portfolios that were linked the mm. guy who worked at claws yeah. i feel like that was super helpful. Like that, Great. these portfolios. I love watching like CalArt sketchbooks or like portfolio yeah. videos. Just to not like exactly plagiarize them, but kind of steal their traits and stuff. Like yeah, that. and their ideas and like their approaches. Yeah, sure, that's great. Steal like an artist, as Austin Cleon says. Yeah. Steal. Um, I think my second tip. Uh, it's kind of not like a the most general tip possible, but. Um, I think a lot of people who are probably watching this are going to apply to other schools, not just Sheridan. Yeah. And I think like making multiple copies of like a certain uh, like requirement, like the perspective layout for Sheridan. I've done, I think, three interior and then there was a exterior layout before this one. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I didn't restart and try again, I, I might have gotten a worse grade because sure. From doing it again, you'll learn a lot from the first time and you can bring yeah. that to the second one and you'll be more confident in doing it too. Yeah. I think, yeah. And you might not get the best ideas on the first try, I think, for the storyboard as well. Um, originally, I was going with a different idea and mm -hmm. then, but this is what it ended up happening. Yeah. Uh, oh, third tip. Uh, okay, my third tip is about keeping your mental and physical health good. Oh, good. I think if your physical health is not good, you're not going to be able to draw properly. Yeah. Like, I remember because I pulled like two all nighters in a row in the last day to sure. get everything done, and it was terrible. Like, I think uh, mentally I wasn't doing too well, and physically I wasn't doing too well, and those two together, you're not going to get any work done or any real good work done, which I think sure. is why a bunch of mistakes in my exterior, it kind of proves it. Yeah. And okay. so I feel like you have to make sure you're eating and sleeping and taking <laughs> care of yourself. Yeah. In your portfolio, I know it's like super stressful and everyone in the shared server, like they're all panicking at that mm -hmm. hour. So you know, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I feel like that is a very, 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 three varies, <laughs> undervalued comment of, of yeah. physical and mental health. And I I was, um, even at Sheridan, I, I really, re like, I, I would rather not hand in the assignment than pull an all-nighter and hand it in, which maybe isn't a great yeah. tip for animators, but um, I, I did find that I was like, I had a firm boundary with what I was wi not willing to do. And I, yeah. yeah I don't know. I think that's just important. You just because then you you have one all nighter and then it messes you up the next day and then yeah and your your whole week is messed if, if you really exactly. mess up and that's when you get sick 
it, it all it all ring, rings in together. So, um, yeah. Well, that that's super helpful. Thanks. thanks yeah. So, so um, was there anything else that you was there anything that you felt gave your portfolio in particular an edge? I have a few things. My first point is uh, I had a lot of friends that were like. Some were like IRL friends, some were online friends that were also applying to Sheridan and also applying to animation. And I feel like that really, like they will hold you accountable and you will hold them accountable. And I feel like having friends that are doing the same thing is sure. super important and you can like mm -hmm. encourage each other and give each other critiques kind of thing. Yeah. And the other one is keeping a sketchbook. I think mm -hmm. uh, keeping a sketchbook is great. Like I would, go outside um, for any like school related thing and I would just be drawing or in class and I feel like that's the best form of like practice if you just have like a small book around to like do stuff from observation because sure. yeah I think yeah doing observational sketches is like super helpful and it also helps with like line confidence and other mm, stuff like that that's great yeah, I like that. Um, is there anything that you, that you would emphasize the most for next year's students and parents? Because a lot of the parents are probably going to be watching this too. So, um, what would what would you say to them as you know, first time applicants or what would second I... time applicants? Um, I think I think for me, practicing fundamentals was the most important part. Yeah. But like, I feel like if you can't, if you don't have the basics, you won't it's going to be much harder to build on that sure. so practicing like life drawing and just knowing the basis of everything you're doing is a lot like mm. it's really important yeah. uh, parents hmm. <laughs> well actually during the application process my mom really liked to tell me what my art was good and like which art was bad and <laughs> what i should submit and <coughs> I just want to say, don't always listen to your parents, especially <laughs> if they're not like, um, you know, artists. Yeah. Yeah. I hear and, that a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen to yourself and your art teachers who know yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. I'm ho I hope I was helpful there. <laughs> yeah. You oh, so helpful. I don't think I would have gotten in if I didn't have poor prep, I think, oh. especially the parts like storyboarding I, I didn't even know things like the 180 rule before yeah. going into that so. mm -hmm. yeah oh that's so great i'm really glad to hear that yes. um okay funnest question of them all um if with unlimited resources at your disposal and a giant team of artists what would be your dream dream future animation project what would it look like i actually is not necessarily like an animation or like a film but i really okay. want to make like a game oh um, cool it's either like one of those indie games or like a choice game uh, like either one of those i'm really excited to i wish i could work on something like that neat like, something more like gameplay oriented or more like story based like story based I okay think. Right gameplay on. ones are good too but i really i really like story games and i feel like sure. If you go into animation, you can definitely work on game stuff in the future and you yeah. can on plenty of stuff. Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. I could just watch this little bounce forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for chatting with us today. And um, yeah, no problem. congratulations again. So yes. amazing. Not surprising for me, but very amazing to have it <laughs> reaffirmed by Sheridan. Yes. Uh, and I'm so you're I, I'm I'm sure you're super psyched and I wish you luck next year, Alice. Um, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for doing this interview. Yes. Take care. Take care.